I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Any Love Island fans out there? But Jamie Clayton, it was such an absolute pleasure to meet this guy. He's confident, he is living life to the fullest. Basically what happened was he just grabbed an opportunity I came out of his comfort zone and pursuing his dream and he's smashing it. I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos like that because I just love meeting people as you know. If you know anybody that has a story, share their story just to help other people, boost them up. So I hope you enjoy this video, it's such a fun video. Join me after this very short break and don't forget to subscribe, like, oh squeaky chair. <laughs> At least you've got Jamie Clayton, beautiful smile and everything. What's your biggest regret in Love Island? You were one of my favourite on Love Island. That's nice. Thank you. Can I go live with you, Jamie, please? Dominic dot underscore 2123. <laughs> I always get this. I always get people wanting to go live. I don't know why, because I'm boring. <laughs> oh, do you? Oh, no, you're not boring. Hi. I've got a really exciting guest from Edinburgh, our own town. And it's really just a random channel. Me and Jamie's not really spoke about this. We've just said, let's just do this. This is how random it is, which is why I like it, because it's just like real life. You just get chatting. Fingers crossed. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. So what made you go on Love Island? Uh, I don't know, I was, I was, not, I was not long single. So I, 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 my ex-girlfriend split up last May. Then I moved out to Manchester, because my company, I've got an office in Edinburgh, in Manchester. So... I sort of moved down here by myself and then I actually tried to apply for Love Island and I missed the cut off October. They got in touch with me and asked me to apply. So I had to go through wow. the full process. Yeah, it was just by chance. And I actually got contacted by accident as well because they search on Instagram by location. I was obviously putting pictures up of like nights out and stuff. And they thought I was from Manchester. So when they spoke to me on the phone, they're like, was that a Scottish accent? And obviously by at this point, they had already confirmed like Wallace, Page, Biggs, they were already confirmed on the show. So yeah. they were like, all right, we'll squeeze another one in then. So they got me down and done all the additions and stuff. So, <laughs> What's your biggest regret in Love Island, if you have any? Uh, saying that Scottish football was abysmal. I know, I know. <laughs> I've got time for, I've got I know, time why is it just saying Newcastle? <laughs> that's our support, that's my team. Like, and the thing oh. is, like, Newcastle are terrible anyway, so I wasn't really justifying anything, but I just, it's just always been the case. Even though I still love Scottish football, it's just... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I was just I was just speaking to a girl about football and that was it. And it was an easy answer to give her when she said, why do you support Newcastle? I was like, well, I'd rather support a Premier League team because it's, it's more entertaining for me. But that was, yeah. I, I didn't care. Like, I honestly don't care. <laughs> but I was <laughs> hyped for that. Like, that's the first thing that Love Island said to me when I come out was, um, right, so you've actually had quite a good rapport, like, in terms of, like, all the press and Twitter, but apart from one thing. And I was like, what? Scottish football was abysmal. And that was, like, my second day as well. And you were and like anyone who knows me knows I don't actually care, do you know what I mean? I know, um, uh, but you're just learning from that. It's nice to hear like your own, your own people sort of. Your own, right? so, I nice, like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it, it doesn't matter who it is, if they're Scottish, they always get people's votes, don't they? And I think that's because Anton for the previous year was such a big hit. So I think they were just like, let's get more Scottish people. I mean, we're the funniest people in the country, do you know what I mean? So in the UK, Definitely. so next big TV. How nervous were you when you got the, like, were you really confident before, or? Like, I announced it at the start and was like, mm. ah, I've just been asked to go to Love Island. Week, I progress and progress, and then they were like, what stage are you at now? And I was like, I've got a medical and psychiatric testing. So wow. I reached out to a couple of the older Love Islanders, like Dom Lever and Anton and stuff, and Dom got back to me and it was like, yeah, you're like really far, like you're going to get on the show. And I was right. like, oh God, like, that's when I started to get nervous, because at that point, you always you know you know if you get on Love Island, then you're going to be like a starter. If you're one of the first people to go on, you know yeah. your life's going to be changed completely. It doesn't matter if you're on for a week or if you're on for five. Your life has just changed. You already had your girls picked out, didn't you? When you went on, you you very quickly. Yeah, well. Debbie and Shauna. Who did you like best? Debbie and Shauna um, at the time were I think the two single girls. So like. Although I had, I had a genuine interest in all the girls, and I, like, I'd watched them all, so I liked all of them. They all had their own like, sort yeah. of positives. So I was very open-minded to going in there, but you're pushed towards the single girls. Like, I only had a choice of three girls, and at that point, I only thought two of them were single. So that's why Damien and Shauna were picked. But right. you could have put me on dates for any of them, because they were all really good-looking, nice girls. So in seizing the opportunity. Yes. 
Uh -huh. And what was it like actually going on the date and all that? It was just come quite natural when you were on the show. Nah, like for, for me, they kept saying, oh, you're a natural, you're a natural. And I was just like, well, I don't feel like it because every two minutes you get stopped with conversation and get told to repeat it or say something in a different oh. way. Like it's, it literally is acting and I'll say, stop, rephrase that, stop. And they won't tell you how to rephrase it though. So you need to work it out for yourself or for being the first time meeting people and getting filmed, it was like quite weird. Like yeah, just it just felt a bit fake. Laughing at you when you're, you're having the drink. I was that white wine and red when you were drinking. <laughs> uh, aye, so what no one knew was I was getting slapped with all the actual alcoholic stuff and Demi and Shauna, in fact, Demi had alcoholic, but Shauna wasn't feeling well, so she was drinking non-alcoholic. <laughs> this is crap. Like, I hate wine. I can stomach rosy. But uh, I, I thought it looked like a rosy, yeah. Uh, not for I me. thought something's going to be said in the tabloid newspapers about Scottish liking the drink or something. I was, uh, I was waiting on it. I always <laughs> get slapped in that, don't I? I know, I'm like, I'll probably get really drunk if I was on it. Uh, definitely, I'll be trying. You only get two drinks a night. Though. And call them up. Ah, uh, I've been slapped for this as well. So, there's words in my mouth. That was, I went over to South Africa, they asked my opinion on it, and I said, well, if it was me, I would have went about it a different way. Yeah. Obviously, that's an outsider looking in. They're like, well, we want you to tell Callum about that. And I was like, it's none of my business. Like, it's not, nothing to do with me. Like, right. surely that, that's, that's just gonna look weird. Like, no, no, we need like, you're the, you're the older guy, you're coming in, we need you to show a bit of maturity in the villa. So they're very good, because they never told me what to say. They just said what they wanted me to talk to Callum about. Yeah, so I just wanted to spell you on. I was, it was my first night, I was in a position where I just, I thought, right, do you know what, I'm just going to have to make a mark here and just do what they're, th do what they're saying to do. So yeah. I just went around, and Callum knew straight away, because they came over to me, took me in a bush, I came out, right, Callum, can I have a chat with you? And he knew straight away, I was, I was in film mode right away. Right, so that's why Callum was, like, really laid back about it. He was like, nah, I get your point, etc. But I get, yeah, you think you're a hard man, you're going to be Love Island pool, and Callum, I'm like, I'm his pal. <laughs> like, why are you so cool with this? <laughs> I'm yeah. allowed to say, I thought it was great, I thought it was brilliant that you did that anyway mm. because, I mean, in a, in, in a real situation, would you do that anyway with your friend? If you with were... my friend, yeah, not with somebody I just met, like it's none of my business, but if, yeah. if, for example, my mate Mark, if he'd done that, I'd be the first, like, we, I've got quite a small friend group, an actual, like my, my, my closest friend, there's only five of us in our, in our friend group, and yeah. if anyone else done that, we'd be the first person to tell them, that's bad, like what are you doing, like. The first yeah. person trying to like, make them see sense at the very least. But we're all quite very much, we're all very mature boys. Like, I think we know the difference between right and wrong. We know what's going to give us a headache if, if we do something like that with a girl. So it's just not worth yeah. it. It's not worth the hassle. That's super modern for me because, um, what are you, about 28 or something? 20? 28, yeah, 28, uh, yeah. And I've never met a um, <laughs> mature guy yet. <laughs> Have you not? Ah, well. well and well. maybe this is a new modern me. This is good. Right. I like it. We're, we're, I like we're, it. We're, we're, we're teaching. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. That's why I liked it. Um, are you and Natalia together now? No, no, no. We're just pals now. We're just, just pals. pals. We, we yeah. always were. Like, it was never on a romantic level. It was, it's like, I just, I said, who do I want to share a bed with for the minimal time I'll be here? I was obviously going to pick Natalia. Uh, <laughs> that was it. You'd be, I'd be sure it would be. <laughs> It'd be weird to be sleeping with somebody else when it's on TV. Well, me it? and Natalia were practicing social distancing that whole time anyway, so it was all good. Oh, were you? <laughs> we, were bit, we, were like, we were like that apart from each other. <laughs> they were going to play games or staying longer. If I was going to, I would have picked Sean or Demi. Because yeah. Sean, Sean was single as well. Could have just That was a meal ticket right there. Yeah. But, I would have been having to act not myself. I would have had to be like pretending. I couldn't be bothered with that. Yeah. I was more attracted to Natalia, and that's what I went with. Even though I knew I was never, it was never going to go anywhere. Like it was just, yeah. I just went with the fittest bird in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, enjoyed the week. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Good for you. What do you know, Paddy Roberts? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, beautiful times two. That's for me and you from Jamie. <laughs> that's my daughter. <laughs> oh, Jamie, yes. <laughs> Because <laughs> what will you do now? Will you go and do something else? Do you think you'll do some more TV? Well, it's, I'd love to. I definitely would love to. I'm picked up here. Are you single from Holly Wilson? <laughs> am I single? Oh, Christ, I'm waiting. <laughs> I am single, yes, and I intend on staying that way. I've not been single that long. I'd rather just enjoy being myself for a bit. I've got my mate down here now. He's moved down. I'd rather wait until I've got time for a girlfriend. Getting busier and busier also. Brilliant. So it's good, it's all, it's all cool, but I'd rather wait until I've got one of these things ticked off and I'm over yeah, lockdown. That's true. Bigger Love Island stars have become single, like Connor, for example, he's now single, uh, Ched now single, so it's like there's bigger people than me with bigger platforms that could potentially be better suited to a show like that. So your time, it's more, more of a chance to get myself out there and let, other, let more people see Definitely. Right 
definitely. The thing is, Jamie, it's open doors for you, isn't it? So right. it's, it's open right. doors. Just taking that little step, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I, I bet you wouldn't have realised how many doors it's opened. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. And I think looking at other people, like right now, it's all go for people in Love Island that are still in couples. That's where the attention still is focused on. But yeah. I think I, I, nothing, nothing to do with girls. I think for me, I think because I don't have the time for a girl and a girlfriend, I reckon that a girlfriend would maybe limit what I can do. Yeah. Or even if I get involved with something that can limit the, the places that I potentially want to be. Do you know what I mean? It's another, it's another responsibility. And I wouldn't want to let anyone down, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, you might not be saying that if Marjo Robert, Roberts arrives. If Marjo <laughs> turns up, listen, that'd be a different story. <laughs> listen, the reason I want to do is to be successful is to get Margot. So if she wants to yes. come to me, it's quite short. That's right. And that's a really good attitude to have anyway, just to, to make sure that you've done everything that you wanted to do and seen. Aye, before. Exactly. very early in my, in my recruitment career, I've only been doing it just under two years, I've got that to focus on, I want to make, I want to make my money, do you know what I mean, so, yeah. girlfriends don't make you money, they cost you money. That's right, <laughs> and well, well, relationships do, they do. I also think that they can cost you your time as well, because you can't, you can't physically, sometimes you feel that you're getting your sort of um, wings clipped a wee bit, you want to be that butterfly, but you might Best be to drag it Best way to put it, and that's, that's not a girl's fault, that's my fault for letting it yeah. go that far, so yeah. I would rather, it's going to take something special for me to change my mind at the moment, because I'm so focused on where I am, yeah. where I need to be, and where yeah. I want to be, I'm actually still trying to figure out where I want to be, so, try to confuse the situation with something else, do you know what I mean, it's not, it's not the right thing to do, it wouldn't be yeah. fair on a girl. That's what I'm doing right now, Jamie, but I wish I'd done it when I was your age. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reason, and I'm glad I've picked the right stage of my life to do it. I'm glad that's the case. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, there'll be a few, a few, a few people seeing you now, so I reckon you'll have a few, a few DMs when you come off. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice, then. Bring them forward. <laughs> now that's a wee compliment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's just said your teeth are looking wonderful, Clayton. Thank you, Jamie. No one keeps asking me as well. They're not actually veneers. They're just composite bonds. Is so it? It's just, right. just touch-ups, yeah, because I didn't Is want it? veneers. Because uh, with the veneers in Turkey, they shave your teeth down and stuff, and my mum my would kill me if I'd done that. So. Yeah, right. Well, we've already answered your celebrity crush, really. Yeah. Well, that's a... Is there any other celebrity crush, in fact, apart from... Uh, there's plenty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't even wrap my, my head around it. There's loads. <laughs> I don't know about because I, I follow them and they don't follow me back and they might be watching, they might be slime on me and that and I'd rather, rather than them remove. <laughs> not that I stand a chance in hell, but... Yeah, you've got quite a few. We'll just leave it at that. There's plenty. Good, I'm Good. so happy I've met you. What a no, pleasure. Likewise, likewise. You've got a smile always... and I hope you do. Oh God, you're going to do really well anyway just with that smile. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm such a chatterbox, I would end up talking forever anyway. I know who your daughters are, I know you're a chatterbox, don't you? <laughs> don't you worry. Oh, well, well, they'll be delighted, hopefully they've been watching it. Jamie's been on anyway, so that's good, and Maxine shared it as well, so. Oh, brilliant. Perfect. They'll be delighted to see you. Amazing. Thank you so, so much, Jamie. Thank Lots you. Of love. See you in a bit, take care. Cheers, you too, yeah, bye. Cheers, take care. Bye. How nice was he? <laughs> that was really lovely. I really enjoyed chatting to Jamie from Love Island and we've not seen the last of him. Nice guy and really chatty and living life to the fullest. And that's what it's all about, guys. Give me some comments. Keep in touch. Thank you so, so much, guys. All the very best. Have a good night. Do remember to subscribe, like and share. And don't forget to hit that little bell because then you'll get all the notifications of when the next videos are coming out. Thank you so, so much. Mwah!